Welcome to this video. Till now, we've learned how to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables by the graphical and two algebraic methods, which are substitution and elimination method. As we move forward, we will study another algebraic method called cross multiplication method. Let's start with the general form of a pair of linear equations in two variables. Now let's solve this with the help of the elimination method. Here, in order to eliminate variable y, we'll multiply equation 1 by b2 and equation 2 by b1, which gives us equations 3 and 4. On subtracting equation 4, from 3, we get x is equal to b1c2 minus b2c1 divided by a1b2 minus a2b1, where a1b2 minus a2b1 is not equal to 0. Substituting this value of x in equations 1 or 2, we get y is equal to c1a2 minus c2a1 divided by a1b2 minus b1a2, where a1b2 minus b1a2 is not equal to 0. If you analyze the values of x and y, we get x divided by b1c2 minus b2c1 is equal to y divided by c1a2 minus c2a1, which is equal to 1 by a1b2 minus a2b1. This conclusion could be remembered by this method also. The arrows between the two numbers tell us that after multiplying them, we subtract the second product from the first. As this method involves cross-multiplication of numbers, it is called solving the equations by cross-multiplication method. Solving a pair of linear equations by cross-multiplication method takes four steps. In step 1, we write the equations in general form and determine the values of coefficients and constants. In the next step, for the given pair of equations, we check the condition a1b2 minus a2b1 is not equal to 0. Then, we substitute the values of coefficients and constants in the given method. And finally, we find out the values of x and y. Pay attention if in step 2, the condition of a1b2 minus a2b1 is not equal to 0, is not satisfied, then the linear equation will have either infinite solutions or no solution at all. You can test it using this. In today's video, we learned how to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables using the cross-multiplication method. In the next video, we shall look at some examples based on this.